etc. Je lui ai également fait part de notre détermination à poursuivre nos efforts dans les domaines de la gouvernance, de la lutte contre les atteintes à la fortune publique, de la réduction des lenteurs dans l'administration de la justice et l'amélioration du climat des affaires. Nous avons réaffirmé notre attachement mutuel à la liberté d'expression. Celle-ci est palpable au Cameroun avec le foisonnement et la pugnacité des publications. Des efforts doivent cependant être faits, y compris par les journalistes eux-mêmes, pour en limiter les dérives. Au plan économique, le Cameroun poursuit ses efforts de développement avec l'objectif affirmé. Paul Bia, bon Paul Barthélemy Bia, Abi Mouvondo, bon 13 February 1933, is a Cameroonian politician who has served as the president of Cameroon since 6 November 1982, having previously been prime minister of Cameroon from 1975 to 1982. He is the second longest ruling president in Africa, the longest consecutively serving current non-royal national leader world and the oldest head of state in the world. A native of Cameroon's South, a native of Cameroon's South, Bia rose rapidly as a bureaucrat under President Ahmadou Ahidjo in the 1960s, serving as Secretary General of the Presidency from 1968 to 1975, and then as Prime Minister. Succeeded Ahidjo as President upon the latter's surprise resignation in 1982 and a consolidated power in the 1983 to 1984 stage attempted coup in which he eliminated all of his major rivals. introduced the political reforms within the context of a one-party system in the 1980s, later accepting the introduction of multi-party politics in the early 1990s under serious pressure. He won a contentious 1992 presidential election with 40% of the plural single ballot vote and was re-elected by large margins in 1997, 2004, 2011 and 2018. Opposition politicians and Western governments have alleged voting irregularities and fraud on each of these occasions. Many independent sources have provided evidence that he did not win the elections in 1992 and that subsequent elections suffered from rampant fraud. Beer was born in the village of Muvomek in what is now the south region of Cameroon. He studied at the Rissay General Leclerc Yaoundé and in France at the Rissay Louis Logland Palace, going on to the Institut de Hotel Etitude d'Autremer, where he graduated in 1961 with a higher education diploma in public law. As an official in post-independence 1960, Cameroon Bia rose to prominence under President Ahmadou Ahidjo after becoming director of the cabinet of the Minister of National Education in January 1964 and Secretary General of the Ministry of National Education in July 1965. He was named director of the civil cabinet of the president in December 1967 and Secretary General of the presidency. While remaining director of the civil car in January 1968. He gained the rank of minister in August 1968 and the rank of minister of state in June 1970 while remaining secretary general of the presidency.
Following the creation of a unity state in 1972, he became Prime Minister of Cameroon on 30th June 1975. In June 1979, a new Lord designated the Prime Minister as the President's constitutional successor. Ahidijo unexpectedly announced his resignation on 4th November 1982 and Bia accordingly succeeded him as President of Cameroon on 6th November. Because Bia is a Christian from from the southern region of Cameroon, it was considered surprising that he was chosen by Ahidijo, a Muslim from the north, as his successor. His father, who was a catechist, wanted him to join the clergy, but at the age of 16, while in Catholic school, he was expelled. After Bia became president, Ahidijo initially remained head of the ruling Cameroon National Union. Bia was brought into the CNU Central Committee and Political Bureau and was elected as the vice president of the CNU. On 11th December 1982, he was placed in charge of managing party affairs in Hadijo's absence. During the first months after Bia's succession, he continued to show royalty to Hadijo and Hadijo continued to show support for Bia. But in 1983, a deep lift developed between the two. Hadijo went into exile in France and from there, he publicly accused Bia of abuse of power and Alanora about plots against him. After Ahidijo resigned as CNU leader, Bia took the helm of the party at an extraordinary session of the CNU party held on 14th September 1983. November 1983, Bia announced that the next presidential election would be held on 14th January 1984. It had been previously scheduled for 1985, was the sole candidate in this election and won 99.98% of the vote. In February 1984, Ahidijo was put on trial in absentia for alleged involvement in a 1983 coup plot, along with two others. They were sentenced to death, although Bia commuted their sentences to life in prison. Bia survived military coup attempt on 6th April 1984 following his decision on the previous day to disband the Republican Guard and disperse its members across the military. Jim is supported by France, one of the former colonial powers in Cameroon, which supplies it with weapons and trains its military forces. France is also a leading foreign investor in Cameroon. The People's Republic established relations with Cameroon on 26th March 1971. The 2000 leading politicians paid state visits to and fro for each country. This included President Bia's visit for a conference in 2006 and who Jintao's visit Cameroon in 2007. Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi visited Cameroon on 12th January 2014. Cameroon voted against several anti-Israel UN resolutions and was the only nation to join Israel in voting against the UN resolution assistance to Palestine refugees. Bia makes relatively few public appearances and in sometimes characterized as a rule. Since the early 1990s, he has faced his strongest opposition from the Anglophone pop population of the former Southern Cameroon ruins the western part of the country. Although Bia made some efforts to open up, 
the political environment. This regime still retains unclear, clear authoritarian characteristics and has largely backed the trend towards democracy in Africa since the 1990s. During 2016 and 2017, under Paul Bia's re reign, a large scale protest broke out among Anglophone Cameroonians in the area of the formerly British Southern Cameroons. Protesters complained that Anglophone regions in Cameroon were neglected by Bia's government and excluded from power. During this time, Anglophone separatists claimed that government forces murdered protesters and mass and committed crimes against humanity, including genocide. Certain protesters had called upon Bia and the Cameroon government to grant them independence. Eventually, separatists declared independence in October 2017 under the same Ambazonia. Numerous civilians and activists have accused Bia's government forces burning villages, raping women, extrajudicial killings of civilians, and acts of genocide. Petition to the United Nations gave details of police raping students at a university. The National Commission for Human Rights and Freedoms embarked on a fact-finding mission in to investigate allegations of human rights abuses. Paul Bia became a naturalized citizen of France when he studied, but he later re-increased his French citizenship when he returned to Cameroon to serve in government position. In 1961, he married Jeanne Hélène B, who did not have any children, though she adopted Frank B, who had been born previously from a relationship between Bia and another woman. After Jeanne Hélène Bia died on 29th July 1992, Paul Bia married Chantal, who is 36 years his junior, on 23rd April 1994 and had two more children with her Paul Jr. Anastasia.